the United States, the First Amendment guarantees the freedom of speech. In general, the First Amendment guarantees uh, right to express ideas and information. And on a more basic level, um, it means that people can express an opinion without the fear of government censorship. Um, it protects all uh, forms of communication of speeches um, to art and other forms of media. The United States, all like other modern democracies, places the limits on our freedoms and this freedom in particular. In a series of landmark cases, the US Supreme Court over the years has helped define what types of speech are and are not protected under the US law. Um, the First Amendment was made on December 15th, 1791 as part of the Bill of Rights and the Bill of Rights, which is the first um, 10 amendments of the United States Constitution. Um, it provides constitutional protection for certain individual liberties, including freedoms of speech, assembly and worship, and so on. First Amendment does not specify what exactly it is meant by the freedom of speech. Vietnam War was the first war in America that we had the right uh, to criticize. And it became the Supreme Court case called the Cohen v. California. And in the Cohen v. California, a guy walked across a draft board wearing a jacket that said, F the draft, and he ended up being arrested. And the only reason you can now walk wearing a jacket that says F the draft or F the war in Iraq or F the president is because of Cohen. Because from then on, uh, you were perfectly free handing out pamphlets saying that you didn't want to be part of the draft. Mary Beth Tinker was in middle school when she and other family members wore black armbands to protest the Vietnam War. They were sent home from school and eventually became a very important test called the Tinker versus Des Moines. Um, unfortunately, the Supreme Court um, in Tinker versus Des Moines um, upheld their right to do that. It was uh, the people at the bottom that needed freedom of speech the most because uh, it was really all that they had. So freedom of speech is a fundamental right listed in the First Amendment. However, there's certain times and places where the government can restrict our freedom of speech. There are three main types of speech that are not um, completely protected. Um, the first one is commercial, and that is basically that like businesses and corporations um, have certain restrictions on what they can say about with their products. They can be misleading and they also will use this to um, keep customers from buying harmful products. The next one is libel and this is basically when people will like use slanderous language and false and misleading information about someone just to ruin their reputation. The last one is obscenity and this is basically offensive communication with nothing really positive about it and this tends to be more like sexual and pornographic um a few times that the government has used their power to limit our freedom of speech is schneck versus united states and this was in 1919 and basically it made it so the government can restrict our words if it poses a danger to our society um, Congress in 1970 passed the Espionage Act and this prohibited interference in military operations and recruitment of military personnel. So with the laws of freedom of speech and freedom of expression, there comes violations of the law of, um, from the people or what people believe could be considered violations. Um, for example, like plagiarism and copyright art is what aren't stated under the um first amendment but they are protected um and the power for that to grant protection of the copyrights is given to congress um in the constitution um as well as like it's a big issue of the controversy of hate speech and it's been around for a long time um but it's been reconsidered as um, the Black Lives Matter and the Me Too movement has come. Um, they promote against racism and sexual harassment and with the awareness um, have brought attention and calls for different laws punishing this type of things because it can be harmful to certain groups and minorities. What someone may believe is free speech could be a violation of others' human rights such as like 
the Black Lives Matter movement being racist that violates in some way, or they believe it violates the, um, those human rights of those people, and, like, there's a certain line where you draw, like, between hate speech and freedom of speech and infringing on other people's rights because it's a very important thing and it needs to be recognized. One other really important thing is um, the burning of the flag like people do all the time. It's it's a right protected under the First Amendment because it's a freedom of expression and people have reasons for burning the flag. Like, they do it for one reason or another in particular um, and President Trump wants that to be illegal, but like it can't because it's protected under the first amendment and it's one of the most important things to remember like just because you think it should be illegal doesn't mean it's gotta be illegal because a lot of these things are protected under the first amendment and the freedom of speech Freedom of expression continues to be one of the most important rights in America today. The Supreme Court Justice Benjamin Cardozo once said, Freedom of expression is the matrix, the indispensable condition of nearly every other form of freedom. Thanks to freedom of expression, we are able to protest and push for change in our government. The hashtag MeToo movement, hashtag Black Lives Matter, and NFL players kneeling during the national anthem are all examples of freedom of expression in society today. Freedom of expression is also found in music, art, clothing, and social media. It's important today because we can go out and say what we believe and we can protest in ways that we believe but also we can put on social media and we're not like filtered on social media so cool taking hella selfies back here to take a closer look at freedom of expression we went to the salt lake city capital where hundreds of people joined together to protest climate change and to deliver over 400 letters to the governor detailing what needs to change in order to protect the environment there were many people at the rally, ranging from children to adults and to pets. One of the coolest things about the protest was that it was all student-led. This just shows how much freedom of expression really means to people. So, we decided to interview a couple of people at the protest about freedom of expression and why it matters to them. So what does freedom of expression mean to you and why is it important to you? Uh, since I'm not actually from the United States, I was born in Canada, I don't have the full, um, I guess, I don't have a citizenship here. So being able to like express myself without having that citizenship um, is super important to me. Life would be boring without it. Uh, and we want everyone to be their authentic selves. And uh, what it means to me that it, we just have to expand what we think is possible or what we think is normal or what we think is right and realize that there's a lot of different versions of right. Um, and everyone has their own truth to tell. Do you feel like the government limits your freedom of expression? Me personally? Yeah. Not so much. I feel like I'm able to speak out when I want to and where I want to, but I don't think that's always true for everybody. I think we are lucky in this country. We shouldn't take that for granted. There's, you know, places that are a lot worse. But yeah, I think to a certain extent. I'm not on a permanent visa, so it's temporary, and I, uh, the consequences for me are very high. So let's say if I accidentally get blamed for doing something illegal, that will, yeah, my, I would be kicked out of the country. Well, I think that there are times when people want to speak out, but there's limitations to where and when people can protest, for example. I haven't had that happen to me, but I've seen it happen to other people. It's all a comparison, right? So compared to other places in the world, you know, we've, we've got a really great thing going here where we can um, come together. There's a lot of differences represented at a rally like this today, but we all have a similar enough vision that we can believe in each other. Um, I think, 
in terms of the government limiting our freedom of expression, we have to be vigilant. We have to watch out. Um, I think some of the things that we're seeing happening in South Dakota and North Dakota with governments trying to um, persecute felony uh, charges against people who are protesting pipelines is really dangerous, and it really can start to curb uh, the public's ability to stop um, evil when it's happening. And lastly, do you feel like we live in a society that limits our freedom of expression? Or maybe your freedom of expression? Um, I, as an immigrant here, I, I haven't found that. I feel like I can express myself however I want, but... Um, uh, that's just because I'm, I'm fortunate, right? But I bet other people who don't have the same resources as we do, uh, for sure, have that issue. I think that's a real big concern these days. I mean, um, you know, you always have to think about what um, what social setting am I in, and where am I, and can I actually say this without feeling, you know, attacked or anything like that? And I think that comes from both sides, like. It's not just people who think the way I do. I think it's it's everybody. Freedom of expression is slowly fading and has been for the past decade, despite maybe gay marriage becoming legal in all 50 states. I think there will be a law that you have to stand for the national anthem. I think there will be a law saying you can't burn the flag. I also think the government could go as far as putting limits on the internet and what can and cannot be published and said. Freedom of expression is the basis of all other freedoms. We continue to learn more about the First Amendment and its restrictions, and it's important not to take it for granted because it may not be there in the future.